If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You've said that, not me. You've got nothing to apologize for. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsey said all oh, because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. And if you really wanted to know the truth, you sure as hell wouldn't have done what you've done to this guy. This whole two week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit fueled with apparent pent up anger about President Trump and the 2016 election. Fear that has been unfairly stoked about my judicial record. Revenge on behalf of the Clintons and millions of dollars in money from outside left wing opposition groups. This is a circus. I am innocent of this charge. I never had sexual intercourse or anything close to it during high school or for many years after that. I swear today under oath before the Senate and the nation, before my family and God, I am innocent of this charge. The Swetnick thing is a joke. That is a farce. Would you like to say more about it? No. Okay. <laughs> Ford described an incident where she was alone in a room with you and Mark Judge. Have you ever been alone in a room with Dr. Ford and Mark Judge? No. Dr. Ford described an incident where you were grinding your genitals on her. Have you ever ground or rubbed your genitals against Dr. Ford? No. Dr. Ford described an incident where you covered her mouth with your hand. Have you ever covered Dr. Ford's mouth with your hand? No. Dr. Ford described an incident where you tried to remove her clothes. Have you ever tried to remove her clothes? No. Referring back to the definition of sexual behavior that I have given you, have you ever at any time engaged in sexual behavior with Dr. Ford? No. Have you ever engaged in sexual behavior with Dr. Ford even if it was consensual? No. Yes, we went to parties, though. Yes, of course. We went to parties, and the yearbook page uh, describes that and kind of makes fun of it. And, as a, you know, if we want to sit here and talk about whether a Supreme Court nomination should be based on a high school yearbook page, I think that's uh, taken us to a new level of absurdity. So, Ms. Mitchell. Well, we got a filibuster, but not a single answer. You turn to the FBI over and over and over again for their work. Let's bring them in here and now. Turn to Don McGahn and tell him it's time to get this done. An FBI investigation is the only way to answer some of these questions. So stop, the, stop the clock. Uh, this committee is, is running this hearing. Not the White House, not Don McGahn, not even you as a nominee. Let's look at uh, Beach Week Ralph Club biggest contributor. What does the word Ralph mean in that? Uh, that probably refers to uh, throwing up. I'm known to have a weak stomach. There's never been a case where you drank so much that you didn't remember what happened the night before or part of what happened. That's You're asking about, yeah, blackout. I don't know, have you? Could you answer the question, Judge? It just, so you, that's not happened. Is that your answer? Yeah, and I'm curious if you have. I have no drinking problem, Judge. Yeah, nor do I. Okay.